Hi everyone, we are back with our lesson on parts of speech. We still continue with parts of speech and still on nouns. Last lesson we dealt with the possessive case, uh, sorry, the number of nouns, that's singular and plural. Remember we said when a noun is one, we refer to it as singular. When it is more than one, we refer to it as plural. Okay. Generally we add S to nouns, but nouns that end with S, H, C, H, O, X, and so forth, we said we add E, S. Those that end with Y, we add Y, we add IES, we change the Y to IES, provided the Y, before the Y, there is a consonant. And when there is a vowel before the Y, like boy, day, and so forth, we just add S. There are nouns that end with F, FE, we just change the F to V and add ES. There are some that don't follow the rule, like chief, and so on. There are nouns that do not follow any of the rules, like man becomes men, child becomes children, sheep becomes sheep, and so on and so forth. But today, we will look at nouns in the possessive case. But before we go into all that, let's have a recap of the homework that you had. You write the plural form of the underlying nouns in each sentence. Number one, far to pick the bunch of keys. And the answer becomes far to pick the bunches of keys. The second one, the birds sang on the branch of the tree. The answer becomes, the, the underlying words are bird, branch, and tree. The answer becomes the birds sung on the branches of the trees. We look at this, the following sentences before any explanation. For instance, you have a sentence like, this is the dress of Ami. This is the tail of the dog. The donkey belonging to Malang is called Tom. Mrs. Cham is doing the job of a teacher. That is the car of our headmaster. Now, looking at these sentences, we've seen that these sentences show that Ami owns the dress, that the tail belongs to the dog, that the donkey Malang owns is called Tom, that the sort of work Mrs. Cham is doing is done by a teacher, and that the car belongs to the headmaster. In other words, these things, sentence, or groups of words, we cannot call them sentences, these expressions show that something belongs to somebody. There is ownership involved in the whole thing. Okay? Now, however, we do not normally speak or write like this in English. The book of Fatu, for example, the dress of Ami. We simply say, you know, this is Ami's dress. This is the dog's tail. Malan's donkey is called Milky. Okay, that should have been Tom. Anyway. Mrs. Cham is doing a teacher's job. That is our headmaster's car. Now, you can see some difference here. Okay? The dress of Ami becomes Ami's dress. This is the dress of Ami. Becomes Ami's dress. So we just have a small symbol on top there. We call it apostrophe. A P O S T R O P H E, apostrophe, and then we add an S. 
to the name Ami because, because Ami owns the dress. The person who owns the thing, we put apostrophe and add an S to that person to show that he owns, he or she owns something. Ownership. Okay? Ami's dress. Okay? This is the dog's tail. Malan's donkey is called Milky. Mrs. Cham is doing a teacher's job. That is our headmaster's car. Okay? This is what is called in English language possessive case of nouns. It shows that something belongs to the person for whom the noun stands. For example, we show this by writing apostrophe and then S. Okay? You have apostrophe in bracket. You can see it there on your screen. Apostrophe and then S. And that is for singular nouns. For example, the bicycle of Amadou. One bicycle belonging to Amadou, the name of a person. It means the bicycle belongs to Amadou. We write Amadou's bicycle. Amadou, we add, we put apostrophe, that is that symbol on top there, and then S, then bicycle showing that the bicycle belongs to Amadou. The house of Kumba, we write, we don't write that in English, or we don't speak like that in normal ways. We say or write Kumba's house. The hand of the boy, we write the boy's hand. To make the possessive form of plural nouns, there are two rules to follow. So not the first one, let's go back a little bit. We said we put apostrophe and then S. That is for singular nouns. It is not the same case for plural nouns or all plural nouns, not for all of them. Now let's see. To make the possessive form of plural nouns, there are two rules to follow. One, rule one. If the plural ends in S, we just add apostrophe. For example, the house of the teachers. We write the teacher's house. Here we're not talking about one teacher. We're talking of teachers. So, and these teachers ends with S. There are some plurals, you remember, that don't end in S. But here teacher ends with S. So we just write the S, the plural form already, and just add an apostrophe there. So it becomes the teacher's house. You can ask yourself, or you are, can ask me, but what about house? Because it is a noun. Okay? The house of the teachers. Here, the thing, the noun that stands for teachers, Okay? Teachers own the house. The thing the noun owns can be singular. When as a group, collectively, you can all own that thing. For example, as a family, father, mother, sister, brother, uh, can live in the same house. They own the house. You and your brothers or sisters, you own the house. You can be more than one, but the thing that you possess can be one. In this case, we may have a group of teachers that share the same house. Okay, Like in some schools, you have quarters where teachers live. You can have one house shared by more than one teacher. So in that case, you will have the teachers, plural, house. You will have the S and then after S, apostrophe, plural. The eyes of the girls, we write the girl's eyes. We write girls and then add S as plural and then apostrophe comes after the S. Here we have more than one I also, so you see the difference. The books of the pupils. We write the pupils' books. The pupils' books. S apostrophe because it's more than one. Rule number two. If the plural does not end in S, 
we add apostrophe s, just like we do in the singular. For example, the shoes of the man becomes the man shoes. Man apostrophe s, because m plural of man does not take any s. The man's shoes. The room of the children. The children's room. Children doesn't take s. Child, plural, children, no s. So we put apostrophe and then add s. The bags of the women becomes the women's bags. The women's bags. Now, one thing you need to remember also is possessive form is used for people and for most animals. Normally, we don't use possessive form for things. Nouns are names of things, animals, places, you know, persons. So we use persons and animals, in most cases, to write this possessive form, like apostrophe S or S apostrophe. But for things, generally, normally we don't use it for them. Not all of them. I'll give you one or two examples that are exceptions. For example, we say the teacher's table, the gatekeeper's uniform, the dog's tail. But we also say the size of the shoe. We don't say the shoe's size. We say the size of the shoe. The color of the book. The color of the book. We don't say the book's color. We say the color of the book. The height of the building. The height of the building. These are names of things, so we normally don't use apostrophe S or S apostrophe for them. But you can have some exceptions. For example, if you look at the board, you can say a day's holiday. You can say a day's holiday. Okay? A day's holiday. You can also say in a in a minute's time. These are exceptions that people say that are accepted. Okay? But they are not very common. But generally we use possessive case for nouns that are animals and people. Okay? For things we can say, uh, the size of the shoe. We don't say the shoe's size, the color of the book, not the book's color, the height of the building, not the building's height. But we can say the teacher's table, the gatekeeper's uniform, the dog's tail, and so on and so forth. Good. The first activity we have would be what? Write down the possessive form of the following. One, the heart of the man. The home of the girl. The cat of the old man. The friend of my brother. The heart of the man becomes the man's heart. In normal English, that's how we write it. The home of the girl becomes the girl's home. Because girl is one person, we write apostrophe and then S. Man is that kind of noun that does not take S. In fact, this one is singular. That's just normal. The cat of the old man becomes the old man's cat. The friend of my brother, my brother's friend. These are all singular. No S. So we just put apostrophe and then S. 
as is in the case in the, in, the, in the singular. Write down the possessive form of the following. One, the voices of the pupils. Two, the shouts of the boys. Three, the barks of the dogs. Four, the cries of the children. Five, the songs of the women. And uh, six, the friend of my brothers. Okay? Good. Now, looking at the corrections, the voices of the pupils becomes the pupils' voices. Remember, pupils here is more than one. We add S. So in the possessive form, something belongs to those pupils. We put the S, and then after the S, we put the apostrophe. Okay? The sounds of the boys. The boys, and then the S, after the plus apostrophe after the S. The barks of the dogs. The dogs barks. The cries of the children. The children's cries. Remember, child, plural children, is a special noun that does not take the rule that we we add s or es and so on and so forth. So it doesn't take any s. So it takes the form of apostrophe and then s, just like in the singular. The songs of the women, also the same thing, becomes the women's songs. The friend of my brothers becomes my brother's friend. Sorry, the friend of my brothers. Again, like I was explaining, one particular thing, the thing that the, the nouns possess, can be one, but the possessors, that is, those that own that thing, can be more than one. So here you have my brothers are more than one, maybe two or three of them. They have one friend that they share in common. So it would be my brothers, apostrophe, S, and then apostrophe, and the friend will still remain singular, friend, no S. Good. Let's look at the, following, the other activity. Make the following plural. Change both nouns in each sentence. The man's heart. The lady's song. The woman's song. The child's game. The donkey's tail. We change to plural. The man's heart. Man becomes man. And man has no S. Okay, so let's look at the corrections. The man's heart becomes the man's heart, apostrophe and then S. The lady's song becomes the lady's. Because lady has S, so we add apostrophe after the S. Remember lady is that type of noun where you have a Y ending. And this Y ending before the Y that is a consonant that is the D. So it changes to I E S. We drop the Y and then add I E S. So after all that changes in the plural, then we add the apostrophe. And then songs. The woman's song becomes the woman's songs. The woman's song. One song. One woman. The women's songs. The child's game. One child and one game becomes the children's children apostrophe s. Games. The donkey's tail becomes the donkey's tails. Donkey no i e s because there is a vowel before the y. That is e. D o n k e y. There is a vowel before the y. As a result, we just add S to Y to form the plural. And the apostrophe comes after the S. Another activity. You make the following singular. The bird's wings. Plural birds, wings, plural. The girl's friends. The women's songs. The men's shouts. Let's look at the corrections. The bird's wings becomes the bird's wing. Bird, apostrophe, S, because it is singular now. The plural, we just put S and then 
apostrophe comes after the S. But in the singular, we put apostrophe and then the S. And the wing become, wings become wing. The girl's friends becomes the girl's friend. Singular friend, singular girl, from plural. The women's songs, women becomes the woman, apostrophe as the woman's. Song becomes, songs becomes song, no S. The man shouts becomes the man shouts. A quick recap to make you understand better. Those are key points. We look at the conclusion. That is, now when we saw something, let's go back a little bit. <coughs> Facessive form of plurals is when something belongs to a person or animal or another thing. Possession in English means ownership. So possessive form of a noun is when something belongs to that noun. And we show that by writing a symbol called apostrophe, either S after that apostrophe or that apostrophe after the S, depending on singular or plural of the noun. For example, the shoes of the man becomes the main shoes because man, this plural is man, there is no S. But when there is S for a plural, we, we put S and then apostrophe. The eyes of the girls becomes the girl's eyes. Girl, because girl, plural has S. So we just write the S and then apostrophe comes after the S. So those are the rules that we follow. When a noun ends in S, in the plural, we just write apostrophe after the S. When a noun does not end in S in the plural, we just write apostrophe and then S. For singular nouns, we write apostrophe S. Now, when we show that something belongs to someone, the noun stands for, we refer to this as possessive case of nouns. We use apostrophe to show this in writing. When the person or animal, that is the possessor, is singular, we write apostrophe S. When the person or animal is plural, that ends in S, we just add um, apostrophe, okay, after the S. That brings us to the end of the lesson. But well, before we go, there is a homework for you. Make the following shorter using S or apostrophe, S or S, apostrophe. The book possessed by Hadi, the names of the children, the names of the boys. These three questions you need to look at before our next lessons. Again, stay safe, stay at home, and study your books, and be by your TV sets. Thank you very much for your attention. <laughs>